what attracted you to this particular role and what set him apart from other roles you've playing, played in your career? Well, um, many reasons. One of them is to belong to one of the most successful franchises ever that happens to be Pirates movies, which there are not so many out there. And, and also, uh, uh, they have one iconic character like Jack Sparrow that is a, a character for the ages. And then, and also to be part of a movie that is going to be uh, enjoyed by the whole family, which is something that I haven't done, or I don't do that usually, uh, that often. So all of those elements were taking place for me to say yes. Perfect. What were the personality traits that you definitely wanted to bring out in Salazar, and why do you think they're important for the character as we see the film? I think the most important of those uh, personality traits was uh, his sense of honor and pride and how uh, when Jack Sparrow betrays that, uh, he becomes Salazar, a person in constant uh, deep rage that brings pain to him, uh, physical pain, emotional pain. And, and that helped me to construct the physicality of the character and also made me uh, imagine him as a wounded bull that's been wounded by the bullfighter and he has the sword hanging from the bag and he's bleeding and, but he wants to get out of the arena. He wants to get out of the curse that he is in. And, uh, and that, that animal aspect of the character is important, I think. Oh, that's well said, interesting. All right, tell us about his look. And as an actor, did the makeup and the costume help evoke the character more for you? Totally, when you're working with, with the quality of people that are doing these movies, you realize how important it is to be surrounded by a great team of people. <laughs> The wardrobe, the detail of the wardrobe, the swords, the makeup, when they put everything together and you are, you own it, of course helps you a big way, a big deal to imagine, to put your imagination to work, which at the end of the day is what we actors do. We shouldn't be so much about ourselves and our memories and our experiences, more than we should be about imagining, creating uh, a fiction. And that helps you to create those fictions. Very nice. Okay. Your character interacts a lot with Barbosa in the film. Yes. So you got to work with one of the greats, Jeffrey Rush. Explain that dynamic. Well, Jeffrey Rush, it's, first of all, the actor that we all know he is. It's an, uh, an amazing actor. I still remember the first time I saw Shine on screen. I was like, who's that genius? I mean, and he's uh, an amazing actor that we know. And he's adorable and very funny to be with. And when he's working, he's super, super uh, aware of every detail. Like, and he's a great colleague. He, he, he's a theater actor, and he knows that there is, not such, there is no such a thing of a scene without your partner. And uh, he gave me all this opportunity to really bring my own input to the scene, and he will bring his, and we will discuss. I, it was a pleasure. It's, it's been working with one of the best out there. So. Nice. You should write him a fan letter because <laughs> I learned a minute ago he answers all of his mail himself. <laughs> all right, so what did you think of all these ships that production built, especially Salazar's ship? Uh, can you repeat that? Um, I want you to tell me what you thought about all the ships they uh, built for this production, specifically yours. My, the, the ship that I, that I, that I am the captain uh, uh, of, they, they built like three of them. And one of them was a total a uh, real size ship. And again, you get on board and what else you need? You are in a boat, you are in a real boat. You don't need to imagine it, it's there. And uh, that helps a big way to your performance because you own it, you do touch it, you, you grab it. Uh, and you got to film in Australia and I yes. believe that was your first time there. So yes. did you dig that? Uh, I loved being there for five months. I have to say that I loved uh, Australia. It's an amazing place, and the people and and the the landscape is is huge. It's it's a beautiful those beaches. It's I loved it. I, I it won't be the last time I will go there for sure. <laughs> I have 15 seconds. What can audiences look forward to with this particular pirates film? I think this movie is up there with uh, the best ones of the franchise, and uh, and if you are a big fan of it you are going to have more than you expected, I think. And if you're not, you will become one after you see it. So it's a winner. <laughs> 
Hi Lisa here with some interesting movie extras facts for you. One of the earliest animation techniques was stop motion. It was first used in the late 1890s. Notable uses of stop motion include King Kong from 1933 and the skeleton skirmish in Jason and the Argonauts from 1963. Now, Toy Story, the first feature-length animated film to be created with CGI, generated 1,000 gigabytes of data and required 800,000 machine hours of editing. Are you an animation movie fan? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe to our channel and check the notification bell to always be up to date with all the latest releases.